After two disappointing games in the Premier League, we are back in Champions League action. We are going to be facing off against Napoli as we look to turn our bad form around and get three points back on the board and get back into the winning groove. Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Leeds United Pride of Yorkshire. So in yesterday's episode, we had a 0-0 draw with Liverpool. Don't get many of them on the channel, so it was a bit of a strange one to see absolutely no goals. Both teams had some chances. We had a header that hit the crossbar. We also had Adeyemi miss a chance in the second half. Erling Haaland had two goals disallowed, so maybe a bit fortunate to get away with a point, but they all add up. So, moving on to today's game, we are going to be playing in the Champions League against Napoli. A quick look at the competition tab shows you that we are already qualified from the group. Five games played, 12 points on the board. We have a goal difference of 12, so it doesn't really matter what happens in the game, but it's one of those games, it's a European night, and we want to bring all of the big games to you. So again, as as being the case across the past couple of days, still feeling a little bit under the weather, so with a six and single game format for this episode. And fingers crossed, we are going to get back into the winning groove as we face off against Napoli. Let's have a little look at the team lineup that we are going to put out. So then with the fixtures mounting up in both the Premier League and the Champions League, we have a slightly rotated look to the team. We still have a few key injuries that I'm not willing to risk in a game that really is already a bit of a dead rubber. So the lineup we're going to put out is Melier in goal, Firpo, Woba, Canate and Manea at the back. Phillips and Bentacore in the middle. We've then got Julian Brandt. Torre and Rafinha across the middle three and then we are going to put Donovan Figueroa up front as we look to give our new gen, regen, whatever the category is a player that we have got. We're going to look to get him some more game time in these kind of games. So can he be the catalyst that we need to get a few goals which have been in short supply in the last couple of games? Let's jump into the episode and see what happens when we face off against Napoli. Okay then, so with these single episodes, we are going to show you everything that happens. We have a nice team line up there from Napoli. This is how we line up. Uh, familiar formation that you've probably come accustomed to across the four seasons that we have been in charge. As I said, we currently have 12 points from the first five games. Goal difference of 12 to match that. So we are in a comfortable position. But hopefully we can go to Italy and sneak another three points to get them on the board. And as the game gets up and running, we have an early corner which Bentacor swings in. Ibrahima Canate is there with the header, crashes off the crossbar, falls to Koulibaly. He then lumps the ball clear out where Manea turns back towards goal. But it isn't worthy of anything that is about to happen. So... 12 minutes on the clock and we have started quite brightly, had the only two shots in the game. That normally means that when Napoli do get a chance, they are going to score. A little look at the other groups can see that Sporting Lisbon are top of their group. And there is a chance, and this is the moment, I bet, that Napoli go up the other end and will score. So Fulan gets the ball, he's out wide, he's going to cross it in. Dealt with by Manea, plays the Bentacor. He's going to bring it forwards. What can he do with it? Finds Rafinha. No, sorry. Finds Figueroa. Don't know why I thought that said Rafinha. Here's Rafinha. And now Rafinha's on the ball. He drives into the middle. Finds Calvin Phillips. The ball up to Figueroa. Plays it out to Brandt. Uh, strong tackle there from Firpo. Gets the ball in towards Figueroa. Figueroa's shot. He's turned around the post <laughs> by the goalkeeper. So a corner kick coming in. Rafinha's going to swing it to the near post again. Wobers there with the header. And he said he got too much on it at the bottom and it goes straight out for the goal kick. So a little bit frantic here as uh, we've had the first nine shots in the game, two of them on target. And those couple of highlights there, which means that um, coming into half time, the home team have had absolutely nothing. As I was saying in the last game, normally these kinds of games are the ones that turn into the 1-0 uh, defeat. So fingers crossed. That isn't going to be the case here. Have a little, having a little look at the team, everybody seems quite fresh apart from Bentacor, so I want to keep an eye on there in terms of maybe bringing the player off. But uh, pushing forwards and seeing what happens in the second half, 
One player who certainly isn't going to be going anywhere is Figueroa. Really want to try and get him as many 90 minutes under his belt as he can. I have a feeling he's going to be really, really useful as a backup player to Sheshko. So, 70 minutes on the clock. Not a lot happening in the second half. Uh, Graham Birch is on his way back to some kind of fitness. So, we are going to swap Bentacore and uh, Graham Birch. And I'm also going to bring Thiago Tomas on. on no. I'm going to bring Karim Adeyemi on, on the right wing. They always say never change your mind, but something just told me, go with Karim Adeyemi, he's due a goal in one of these games, especially after, I know it's telling me to take off Calvin Phillips. Yeah, especially after the chance that he missed in the last game, it wouldn't be too bad of a thing to get him some more minutes and uh, try and get him on the score sheet as Napoli messed that up to get it away. And Figueroa, the youngsters, had the shot. From outside the box, it's hit the top of the crossbar and gone over. Let's have a little look at the uh, issue with Daniel James. So, yeah. Oh, no, sorry, not with Daniel James. James was the one who was recommended to come on. Uh, not really like for like, but if it's telling me that Calvin Phillips wanted to come off, then I suppose we can make that change. Not really the ideal one, but again, struggling for goals in this episode too. Uh, but there's going to be a throw in late on as Napoli... Going to swing the ball in. It play, it's played all the way over the top of everybody. But Fulon is there to get it. He tries to play it out. Menea's kept it in. Let's see what he can do with the ball as he plays it. Left footed to Pablo Torre. Gives it to Daniel James who can now run and open his legs. If he waits, there's a pass on. He goes for goal himself. Hits the top of the crossbar. I thought that was going to be the moment. But it's another frustrating 90 minutes. There's four added on. We're going to have a corner here. Gravenberch is going to swing it in. Goes all the way through to the defenders, but Brandt gets on it. And Graham Birch plays it back to Daniel James, who's been heavily involved since he's come on. Furpo with the ball to Graham Birch. Plays it back to Daniel James. And Graham Birch is having their own little game down there. James gets it again, plays it to Woba. Plays it forwards. Adeyemi's there. He plays it into Figueroa. Figueroa hits the post. How close can we get? And unfortunately, that is the time expiring on us. And I think... In terms of runs of games where we don't score goals, but we are creating so much. It is so frustrating. Sheshko, would he have scored some of those chances? I'm not too sure. Figueroa, though, looks like he's going to be a bit of a star. I know he missed the one right at the end when he hit the post, but at least he got us that close. He hit the post. He had the one over the top of the crossbar, but same story as the last couple of episodes. <laughs> Shame that they can't be a bit more entertaining, but another nil-nil draw. Let's jump back and have a look at what's coming up next in the schedule. So a little bit of a disappointing nil-nil draw then against Napoli. Uh, we were already qualified in terms of the Champions League group that we were in anyway. So a bit of a dead rubber game. But this here is what I want to draw your attention to as we are going to be facing off in a top of the table clash. The schedule falls now that we play Arsenal and Manchester United. So I think we're going to try and go back to the two-game format for the next episode. Still feeling a little bit under the weather, but we're going to try and push through and bring you both of those games as these are going to have a big impact. Those are 14th and 18th of December. And then the Christmas schedule gets a little bit crazy with Sheffield United, Newcastle, Southampton, West Ham, Villa. All coming in the space of, what's that, 9, 10, 15 days. So, what's it, 7, 6, 7 games in the space of 15 days. It's going to be absolutely crazy. Fingers crossed we can uh, start scoring goals again because that's exactly what we need. So, tomorrow we're going to jump back into the double game format as we bring you Arsenal and Manchester United. Another nil-nil draw then. So, after saying in yesterday's episode, we don't get many of them with the Liverpool game. We get two on the bounce. Not the most inspiring of games. It was a dead rubber, so we can't be too disappointed. Figueroa did really well up top. Could have won the game for us right at the end, but it wasn't to be. So, we are going to be pushing on to tomorrow's episode. Going to try and get back into the double game format. Throat's still a little bit croaky, but... 
we're going to try and push on through. So if you're at this point of the episode and you're still enjoying the content and you love interacting with the channel, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to help the channel out. Every interaction is vital for the channel and I appreciate anybody who takes the time to do it. So if you're new here, welcome to the party. But for this episode, I'm going to wrap it up. Uh, come back tomorrow when we are going to be facing off against Arsenal and Manchester United in two top of the table clashes.